What does this expo have to do with you muttering all the time? When I was young, I used to relieve stress by working on complex mathematical conundrums. No doubt my younger self is working on some impossible problem in an attempt to work off cerebral steam in the weeks before the exposition. What was I muttering about? I don't know. Uh, H to the something when the universe is something else. I I'm not so good at equations. That's too bad. I bet if we could solve my younger self's problem, he'd be more inclined to listen to you. You know, your younger self seems really dedicated to the law. It's a facade, I assure you. I had to keep up appearances to appease my father. Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay, but don't forget we're on a bit of a deadline here. Multiplied by the inverse of A might well be equal to A's expectation value. But only if the coefficient of friction remains constant. And the gravitational constant is variable. Wait, is that even possible? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh. Inverse of the derivative of the speed relative to the speed of light. Oh, it's been back to H. Don't think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh, oh. flip when he hears his own voice. Psst, Doc! Morty! How goes the escape plan? So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think! H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A... I Good know. grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah. But what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. I have something. I don't know. No, 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 no,
Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill. Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal! Here's the subpoena. Arthur McFly? I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work.
So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy! Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut ball. Uh, n never mind. About Arthur McFly. Yeah. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Uh, n never mind. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. How's that? Shiny enough? Yeah, that'll do. Stay nearby, though. I scuff easy. Wait a minute. Didn't I see you at the jailhouse, John, with that Carl Sagan rat? Um... I hope you weren't planning on trying to spring him. Cause I got other plans. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. 